All right, welcome back, guys. This is part five of how to config slash code, I guess, a 718 RSPS. This is going to be a bit of a more difficult kind of video, so try and bear with me and just follow along as you can. If you're using a different source than me, then it's probably going to be a bit harder because things are going to be in different places. But yeah, there's going to be three main things we're going to need. We're going to need commands, button handler, and inventory options. You can find those in src com feather. Uh, net decoders and then handlers you'll find button handler and inventory options but if we go back to game player content that's where you'll find commands but let me just close all this because we don't need it right now because we already have it opened and um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in game okay so for this video we're going to be learning Inven or not inventory, interfaces. Yes, interfaces. Learn how to do stuff with interfaces. So first let me turn all of this off so we can hear better. Okay, so the command you're going to be using is um, dot dot enter, I-N-T-E-R, and then the interface ID. Um, so let's say if we do interface 300, you'll see it opens up a smithing interface. Or if we do interface 400, it opens up a making tabs interface. You can just go through these, find a list online, whatever. Um, I've already found an interface that we're going to mess with today, which is interface 10123. You can use the same one as me if you just want to follow on exactly as I do and do everything exactly as I do so you can learn. But this is the first thing we're going to be looking at. So as you can see, if we click on these, nothing happens. But there is stuff being printed inside the console in Eclipse. So this is what we're going to be looking at. So every time we click on something, it will give us an interface ID, a component ID, a slot ID, slot ID 2, and a packet ID. Only thing we're going to be looking at is component ID. Because we already know our interface ID, because this is the one we're using, which is 1123. And then there's component IDs. Each one of these select options, so even the X button, or, you know, like this, 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 they're all different component IDs down here. So you see this one is 82, this one is 86, this one is 90. So that's really helpful, and that's pretty much the main thing you're going to be looking at is component IDs. So first what we're going to do is we're going to go in a button handler. This is everything that handles buttons. Every when you click a button, it handles it in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down, and um, I'm going to go, let's search, oh, actually, let's do it right here. So else if interface ID and then it gives XP lamp handler. So right after that, what I'm going to do is I am going to do another else if and then interface ID 1123. See, now we're using this interface. So now what we're going to do is we are going to do if and then component ID is equal to, and let's say we want to do component ID 106. Let's do the shark one. So 106, correct? If it is that, then we will do player dot oh interface Wait, isn't that what it is? Hold on. Player dot interface close interfaces. That's it. Um so that's pretty much it. So what it's saying is when you click this interface or when you have this interface open and you click on this component ID, it's going to close the interface instantly. But we don't want to close the interface yet. What we want to do is we want to go into commands and we want to search for runes. If you go down, you'll see a player.getInventory. So right here, we're going to go back to button handler and we're going to paste that right up. Above close interfaces. So what it's going to do now is you're going to get an item when you click on it, and then it's going to close. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. We're going to look for the raw shark, which is 384, the noted version. So 384. Well, we want to give ourselves 100 sharks, correct? So then it will give us sharks, and it will close the interface. Simple as that. So now what we can do is we can save this and then reopen the server. Okay, so we just saved. Now we're going to open up, we just opened up the server again. Let's go back in game. And let's open up the interface again, 1123. And then now, when we click shark, it will close the interface 
and also give us 100 raw shark as we configed it. So next what we're going to do is we are going to put this interface that we've just made as a rewards and we're going to put it to an item. So every time you click an item it will take the item away and it will open the interface and it will you can click on whatever option you want. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for reward. Reward token. I want like a reward book or something. Reward book. 20935. 20935. Here we go. Reward book. Nothing happens when I click on it. So let's make this as a thing you click on. It will open the interface. So we'll, the ID of that was 20935. Okay guys, so let's um, start doing it now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down until I see this right here, um, a bunch of text. I'm just going to paste it after an else if. So let's go else if, and then item ID is equal to, I'm oh, sorry, hold on. Item ID is equal to, and then the item ID that we did, 20935. 20935. Just like that, and then we'll space, and then we'll open bracket. So now what we can do is we can paste our code inside of here. So let's make it so that it opens the interface. So let's do this. Player.getInterfaceManager, send interface. And then we'll type in the interface that we're using, which is 1123. And then we will also... We will also delete the item. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this code that we had before from our commands, paste it here. But instead of having add item, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do delete item. And then so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the item, 20935, and then 1. So now what will happen is when we use this item, it will open the interface and also take the item away. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that. I'm going to... Close the server. Is the server open? Yes, it is. So let's close the server. Let's. It's already saved. Let's open the server again and go in game. Okay, so we're in game here. We have a reward book. When we open it, it'll take it away, but it will also keep this interface open. So now, when we click on something, it will also give us the reward. So let's open that up again. So 20935. 20935. So as you can see, it does take the book away. It's a little bit of an error or something I, I don't know how to get by yet, but I'm sure you could figure something out. This is just show you how to use interfaces. You could also um, add this to an item. So if you want to like make a, an owner item or something where you can do a whole bunch of stuff, like the rotten potato, you could do that. So I don't know, it's just a pretty simple idea of how to use interfaces and stuff. And obviously you can add stuff to all these as well. So let's say, you know, you want to add all the clickable options. You can do that as well. I just only did one just to show you how it works. But yeah, this is how to use interfaces and how to mess with them. And uh, thanks for watching. So I just found a different interface. It's one, two, four, five. So if we do enters, one, one, two. 4, 5. As you can see, CID 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then CID 330. So what we can do is we can also put a name on this, and we can add a custom text inside of here as well if we wanted to. So let's do that. Okay, so enters 1, 2, 4, 5. <clears throat> the component ID of this is 330. So let's do if the component ID is equal to 330, then it will execute a command. So let's say, actually no, we don't need to go to button handler for this. So this is a, a pretty cool one. You don't need to go to button handler for this, which is nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of this. And I'm going to go to inventory options handler. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go down and I'm going to do else if item ID equals to so let's say let's make a guidebook 
Okay, so I found one. Um, the ID is 19705. So let's go back. An ID is 19705. Um, oh, sorry, we need a open bracket. And then player dot get interface manager dot send inter uh, interface and then we'll do one two four five the new interface we found and then yeah I think that's good so now we will get packets and we'll paste this right here and we will do that and then we'll say welcome to server name so let's go back just like that welcome to server name So now right here, what we're going to do is we're going to do the interface 1245 and 1245 as well. So if we go to CID, we will see it's 13. So let's go back and let's put this as 13. And then 4. Okay, let's do 13 and 14. Yes. So let's save that and let's go back in game. So we're in here. Now if we open the book, it'll say the server name and then welcome to Feather. As we put in here, because as you see it says settings.server name. So if we go to the settings file, you can change the server name from in there. But what we can do though is we can take this and we can just copy this instead and do this. So we can put our own own text. Um, Hope you enjoy the server. Another thing is you can add colors as well. So this will make it red color. This is using a hex um, color right here. So yeah, we're gonna do hope you enjoy the server and it's gonna say at the top. If we go back in game, we do enters one, one, two, four, five, three, thirty. So what we're gonna do is up here, we're gonna add this as three thirty. So now we're gonna save that and then restart the server. Oh, I forgot to change this back to 13 as we had it right here. It was 20 and there, yeah. So let's just save that. And again, I forgot to put the interface ID, oh my God. Okay, so we're in game here. And as you can see right here, it says the server name. And it also says, hope you enjoyed the server in red. Which is pretty cool. So that's just how you can, you know, you can use your mind to make whatever you want. You make guidebooks, you know, anything like that. You can just, you know, make spawn books or you can spawn armor sets and things like that if you wanted to. You just got to find a cool interface you want to use and do things like that. So, yeah, this is just a, a part two to the um, interfaces. And, yeah, I just thought I'd just add that as well. Okay, so another example of what you can do is how I was saying is that you can make it spawn stuff. As you can see, I just chose a random interface with options on it. And I named it Spawn P Hat and Spawn AGS. So even if they are named, you can override the name. Um, so what I do is I just click on this and I can spawn P Hats or AGSs or things like that. You can just use this as like JMod items or something. I don't know. I just thought I'd show that as well.